Hi everyone, welcome to the Ravit Show. We are here at AWS reInvent and look who I with me, Chris Powell, CMO at Click. Uh, Chris, not a new face to the Ravit Show. It's so good to have you back. Well, we're pretty, great to be back. Really excited to be here at this show. It's it's just such a force, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. Like it's buzzing and I've been seeing obviously people coming here non-stop at the Click booth. I'm excited to obviously learn about many things, but let's start with uh, obviously a few key announcements. Uh, that you all have made uh, and uh, what was the announcement that stood out to you kind of curious to know a little bit about yeah. that and also the other announcements look a lot of great announcements so many announcements come out of this show from so many companies one of the ones we're excited about is attached to a big aws announcement around european cloud so uh us being a launch partner on the european cloud with aws is a great moment for us to, be able to work with all of our customers in Europe, that's I think uh, the thing that I'm most excited to talk about here, just from a business standpoint. Right. But so many other tech things too. Yes, hundred uh, percent. Chris, uh, I was talking to Jessica as well, and she mentioned so many different things that you all are doing with AWS. So that's pretty exciting. I'm also curious to learn a little bit about, uh, you know. Uh, the announcement that you all recently made around being a reseller partnership with, uh, I, I guess, uh, Megazone Cloud, yeah, uh, yeah. and that is in Korea. Yes. So that is a yes. massive one. I'm kind of wanting to learn from you. How do you see that region, uh, you know, and how is Click growing its presence in that yeah. region as well? Yeah. Well, we look at the business as many do in terms of where are the really fast growth markets for us and uh, whether those, the, the things everyone always mentions, of course, are Middle East and Africa, or they're talking about India, or they're talking about Brazil. Uh, but as we're getting into the Korea market and trying to look to ways to expand there, that's a big announcement for us. I think I saw that uh, they do 80% of AWS's business in Korea. Wow. So this is a great partnership to be able to leverage all of their relationships there. That's massive. Uh, I think that number obviously proves itself and now I know the reason why you all are heading obviously yeah. and having that partnership as well. I'm also wanting to know a little bit about uh, you know, the agentic AI solutions, and we've been seeing so much buzz uh, this year around yeah. AI and uh, what's Click's plan, say maybe in the, I'm not gonna say in, in the next two to three years, I'm gonna say maybe in the next six to yeah. 12 months. So uh, how yeah. are you seeing the space evolve and how's AWS also playing a very important role since we are here yeah. at AWS reInvent, I'm kind of, you know, curious to yeah. learn a little bit about the partnership as well. Oh, there's so much to cover there. Yes. The, uh, look, I think, there, you, you, every booth you look at talks about Agentic here this year, right? Yes. So there's always something that's going to be the big topic of the year, and without a doubt, AI has been, and now Agentic. Yep. I think what we're excited about the announcements here this week and announcements today with the MCP capabilities, and it's really about making AI and all of these capabilities real. Yes, uh, so true. You know, 2025 may go down as a year that all of these AI, AI projects were failing, right? They're not. People aren't seeing the results, so we're we're excited about trying to introduce things that can make that easier for customers and 100%. make the adoption of AI easier. Uh, because right now, what we're hearing as we're talking to customers is it costs too much money. They don't trust the outcomes, uh, so they something's got to really change. I think uh, that's so true. When you know, obviously, even MIT kind of put out a report which said like 95% of the projects were failing. Yeah, and. What I hear from enterprise leaders a lot is uh, they want to obviously succeed, but they want to see the real ROI. They want to see uh, if there, there's an investment that goes into AI, yeah. and if we are adopting it, the resources that we are investing into it, we want to see the ROI. And I was talking to one of the customers from Click itself uh, yesterday, Touchpoint, and uh, they had such interesting things to talk about agentic AI and how they've been you know, solving various problems with Click Answers yeah. and saving lives. So yeah. I think those are like the real results that we want to, you know, obviously see in 2026 as well. And again, this year also felt like a year of experimentation at many places. There were obviously uh, a lot of, uh, you know, successes that we've seen as well. We've seen uh, enterprises uh, do pretty well. And yeah. obviously I've spoken to a lot of companies that y'all work and you know, y'all help as well with the customers. Yeah. So that becomes interesting. But we are also uh, nearing to 2026. So there will be obviously many different things that you might have in mind, some predictions, uh, some thoughts. Uh, so I would love for you to share a little bit. What do you think about at least the first half of 2026? What will be the focus on and how are the enterprise leaders 
uh, going to feel more confident about not only just using Click, but in general, Agentic and AI as well. Yeah, I, like, I think a lot of organizations have looked at Agentic as something they need to start over and sort of build. Uh, and what we're talking with our customers about, and what I think is the thing I'm most excited about, we're, I'll say the next six to eight weeks, right? The ne there's nothing longer than that maybe right now. But the, if the work that they've done in the past in terms of being able to, they have to put the foundation together, bring all the data together, ensure right. that it's usable, they need to make sure that the right people have access to it or the wrong people don't have access to so it. So true. All of that work has been done before in a lot of their analytics applications. They right. needed that in place. So what Click is really focused on in 2026 is, uh, the way I like to think about it is you're almost able to snap a new layer in, in front of the dashboard mm. or in place of the dashboard. So in fr instead of having only a dashboard interface, you can now just have a large language model interface that you can speak to your structured data, your unstructured data in a proprietary environment and only the data that you should have access to. So that's the big change uh, yeah. for things. And that's what I mean by making it real, right? Real. It, it's, right. We just need to make it so that a customer can come in and we can make it easy for them to look like a hero in their organizations because 12 weeks later, they can have this in place. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I love the focus for 2026 and how uh, Click has always been customer first approach in you know, helping the customers and making sure uh, you all are making that move where customers are facing issues with and one thing at a time and uh, you're doing it pretty well. Uh, one last question for you is, uh, I know Click Connect uh, is another big yeah. one which is kind of coming up next year. Uh, I think this time it's happening in April. In April, yeah, That's a awesome. bit earlier. Uh, what should we be ready for when we are attending Click Connect because that's one of the events I attended this year and uh, I will, I met so many customers, so many partners, the community members, and the energy there is unreal. So, what should we be ready uh, when it's when we think about Click Connect 2026? Look, uh, the thing that I'm so excited about at that show every year is the customer stories, the yes. real examples of people getting real value, and I think what we're looking to do at Click Connect this year or next year, I guess, 2026. Yeah. Uh, Almost is, there. It's similar to what we do each year, except now it's going to be all around customers that are rapidly adopting these agentic capabilities, the new open lake house, yes. iceberg capabilities yep. that we're introducing, the amazing amount of value that they can get from these things. They'll be able to experience it there with real customers showing uh, what they're doing in real world scenarios. I can't wait. Uh, definitely looking forward to that. Uh, but. Uh, Chris, again, thanks for doing this. Thanks for uh, taking the time out today. Uh, I think you all have a fantastic partnership with AWS. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to connecting with more teammates and learning more and also the customers here at Click. Uh, thanks once again for doing this. It's always such a pleasure to have you on The Rabbit Show. Great. Thanks, Ruben. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today.